How you doing? Hey. <laughs> Excuse the naked face. I've got so much to do this morning that I just don't have time to put makeup on. Gracie and I are just running into town now to do some errands. I have to go to the post office, the supermarket, and just boring stuff like that. It's all about catching up with life admin after you come back from holiday. Gracie's going to nursery this afternoon, so I can hopefully get loads done then, but we'll see. So we're gonna go home and you're gonna have a nap. <laughs> you're doing that little creepy smile. Mm. <laughs> you can't get away from me. You're we're home. Sorry. Gracie's so happy to see daddy. <laughs> I know this is really sad, but I bought Gracie a little Easter basket. I know he doesn't understand what Easter is yet, but seeing as he's in nursery and they get really into like everything to do with spring and Christmas and like summer and everything. So they're doing like a little Easter party at nursery. So this is his little Easter present that I got him. A little lamb and a white chocolate Easter egg in a little Easter basket. I think I might get a few other bits and pieces in there, like a little book or some stickers or something. But yeah, I just, um, now I'm a mum, I'm like really into all this stuff. Steph doesn't get it at all. He's like, why'd you buy him that? He's not gonna care. But I'm like, I care, I care. I wanna celebrate Easter with Grayson. <laughs> it's really sad. Gonna go and play with all the other boys and girls. <laughs> oh dear. You're gonna play with Zachary and you get to crawl in tents. <laughs> yeah, good boy. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Say bye, Daddy. Bye, bye. bye. Guys. Kiss, kiss. Bye bye, snot nose. Bye bye. Doesn't want to kiss. <laughs> bye, Grump. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so you know earlier on how I was saying how Gracie's nursery get really into like any kind of holiday or activity. Um, it's all about Easter at the moment and so I have to make him an Easter bonnet but I just dropped him off and they've got like, this is so awesome, they have little eggs in an incubator with chicks in, like actual chickens waiting to hatch and they're gonna keep the chickens. It's so adorable, I love it. So that was a nice surprise. Obviously Gracie doesn't know what the hell's going on but I was like, oh, chick, chick eggs. So yeah, gonna go get Steph now and hop on the Vespa. We're gonna go and do loads of work. little game here trying to get some silky montage shots for you check this out oh if that comes off you're gonna be so pissed off who carries around duct tape in their vest uh, Stefan Mitchell like that's who sorry that today is very very pretty much exactly the same as what we did before we went skiing, but every Monday and Tuesday we pretty much do the same thing now because Gracie goes to nursery, so we kind of like to use the time to go to Shoreditch and just write and do like catch up on everything that we can't really do when we've got him. He's so happy, she said he's been amazing today and he gave her a kiss at the end, how cute. They gave me this picture from Mother's Day. You know, we went for that Mother's Day tea at nursery. And um, I dressed me and Gracie in matching denim shirts because I'm cool. So I'm gonna stick that in my scrapbook. 
Gracie's like, oh mum, really? Do we have to be matching again? Rain dripping inside of the window sill Dad's crying cause the baby's ill Rain dripping inside of the window sill Dad's crying <laughs> Daddy's pants, get off them. Just um, cracking on with the edit this week. Gracie, we're off to nursery. You're gonna say bye to daddy. Bye bye. Go bye on, bye. say bye. Good boy. I don't really want Gracie to go to nursery today. He's being so sweet today and so good. But I've got so much to do this afternoon. I have to wrap makeup bags, go to the post office. Anyway, I'm blabbing now. I've got to get this little chappy to nursery. Nursery! <laughs> don't know why, I just feel really tearful and I felt really horrible for the whole day. What kind of set it off was Gracie's nursery, nursery gave me a letter saying, oh, he's ready to move up to the next room. And I'm like, oh my God, he's growing up and it's freaking me out. And then my friend out found out she was having a baby girl. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you slash really jealous that you're having a baby and my baby's growing up. And then obviously all of this stuff that we're thinking about moving house and I just don't deal well with change at all. Like I like things to stay the same. I like constant and I like routine. Today has just been like, whoa everything's up in the air everything's changing and i don't like it and i'm freaking out <laughs> so i'm gonna go and get gracie from nursery now before i cry on camera and ruin your day and then our friend jack's gonna come over and we're all gonna go to yoga and chill the fuck out because i need to go to yoga and like empty my mind and do some like meditation and just relax because this is just like all a bit too much. I'm back, bitches. Did you miss me? I just had to sign one of those little like forms when the babies hurt themselves because someone bit Grayson. One of the other babies bit him and I'm like, oh my God, this is like the shittest day. She said that moving him into the other room is like a gradual thing and she goes in there with him and they play together and then gradually she'll leave and yeah. Steph keeps calling me a soccer mum because I'm too clingy and like too neurotic and controlling but maybe I'm a soccer mum and maybe I like being a soccer mum. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> oh, it's a game. It's not a fun game for mummy. <laughs> Excuse me, it's not a fun game for mummy. It's not a fun game for your mummy. <laughs> Our friend Jack's here. We were gonna go to hot yoga, but now I think we're just gonna get takeaway and drink wine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a much better plan. Bye, Jack. Bye. Oh, you feel me? Oh. <laughs> Bye, Jack. See you later. Jack came over tonight and uh, brought a bottle of wine over, and he's stuffing <laughs> half of it back in his bag that we didn't drink because he's a bit depressed. It's wound for Jack. <laughs> Good morning. Uh oh. Is that why you're so mad? Uh oh. Here you go. <laughs> you want to come out? <laughs> No! Get off me, I'm free! You're not free! I'm free! Okay, we're gonna get you an outfit. Right, what can you wear today, Grayson? We're just doing an early morning walk through the park to get some coffee. It's just a really nice time of morning where it's just really peaceful and calm and the only people out are really the ones who are walking their dogs. So Gracie gets to see loads of dogs and yes, it's just a nice way to start the day. I could 
guarantee I can make you not hungry. Look at this, look at this in the shop window. Gracie absolutely adores the swings it, to the point where if I walk past a park and we don't go in he'll have a bit of a meltdown and so whenever we walk in and he knows we're going to the swings he'll get really really excited <laughs> Gracie and I are off to soft play this morning because Daddy's got a meeting. <laughs> See you later, Gracie. <laughs> See you later, Annie. Have Love fun. You all. Ready, Gracie? I sure am. Take me to the bloody soft play. All I want is to climb on soft things right now. I'm gonna get him. We're all gonna have some lunch together. It's a very mundane vlog so far this week. What are we? Wednesday? Thursday we are, aren't we? Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Crazy. Hello. Do you want to come up and have some soup with us? Yeah, Mr. Red Cheeks. There's that daddy you haven't seen him all morning. Here he is, look. Hey, Grace. <laughs> he totally went all shy. There's Witchy, look. Yeah. Good boy, be gentle. Don't pull his whiskers, he won't like that. <laughs> Gracie just drew his first ever picture. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> he licked it though, so it's gone a bit smudgy. But um, yeah, he did it all by himself. Apart from that one yellow line, I was trying to encourage him to use a bit more color. Bedtime hour. Gracie has been busy drawing another picture. Yes. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because the pencil cranes are quite light. I'm a very proud soccer mum right now. If our fridge was higher up, I would stick it on the fridge, but he can reach it, so it's just going to get ripped down. Don't really know where to put it. I think we should put it above Daddy's desk. If you say so. Here we go. Let's put it here. 
<laughs> I'm such a bitch. My friend is coming over tonight. His name is Luke with his wife, which is called Iris. I grew up with. I didn't, I didn't say which, I said who is called Iris. Well, luckily it's recorded, so everyone was going to think you're an idiot now. Who? It's called Iris. I grew up with Luke. He was a friend of mine. My mum and his mum were pregnant together. So he's like an old friend from when I was a baby. So he's coming over with his new wife, who I've never met yet. Before Luke and Iris come over, I need to get Widgie some cat food. If anyone wants a cat, can you just let us know in the comments? As long as you're not like some sort of weird cat killer, then you can have him. Actually, even if you're a cat killer, you can have him. Come on. Don't break the door and wait for me to buzz it. You're not waiting, you've got to wait for the buzz and then you wiggle the door. I haven't buzzed it yet and you're wiggling it. Wait for the buzz. Give the door a wiggle now. Give the door a wiggle. You're in, you made it. Hello. <laughs> What the hell was that? Hey, okay, dude, this is uh, this is Luke, everyone. Luke, I'm just going to film you without even asking your permission. Fair enough, fair I'm enough. that type of guy. That's okay. Really cool. How you doing, dude? Good, mate, good. Really nice to see you. Uh, That's Luke and Iris, everyone. Hey! Oh. Look at my chive. Don't tell it's me like to look at your chive. It's like thriving. Sounds like a euphemism. But isn't it thriving? And I kill everything, and my chive is alive. In all fairness, if you... <laughs> my chive is alive. <laughs> God. If you water a chive enough, it will give you so much chive. <laughs> They don't finger the chive. It's better than when I bought it. I make eggs every morning now, and one of the most important ingredients to a good scrambled egg is chive. So uh, we have this chive plant now, and it's quite. A, I'm, I'm quite. I'm actually quite proud of this chive plant. Isn't it soft? I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna take this chive plant to bed tonight. Oh no! We had an aero, and I left it on the coffee machine. The coffee machine's on. No. And now it's um, gonna warm. Do you want to share my aero? No, because it's melted. I left it at the coffee machine. It's literally melted. Why? Yeah, have I know. You done this to me? <laughs> Sorry. Just give it ten minutes. Give it ten minutes. It'll be fine in ten minutes. I found this like bit of ball of paper Why? on the ground. You play with that. Stop it. Ah, you hit me in the eye. <laughs> Nobody cares about your chives. <laughs> yeah. I do tell me if you care about my chives. Because I care about my chives and my air. Nobody cares. Count down with me. Three, Three two, two, one. We've come out to get some silky montages today. Steph's freaking out, but we've done nothing all day and it's basically me and Gracie and Soft playing like mincing around in our pyjamas. So we decided to come and mince around somewhere in Dulwich called the Horniman Museum. And there's the nice big gardens here. We're out at nap time and I think Grace has gone straight to sleep, which is quite nice for us to be honest. So we're gonna go and have a little look around the museum now. Remembers, but I've got a weird obsession with alpacas. I just really, really love alpacas. I think they're really cute. And look what we found! A bloody alpaca! Hello, alpaca! Oh, I just want to like rub my face on him. He looks so soft. The backpack is ruining the silky montage. in London you have to come here because it's like the most family friendly place it's kind of like the natural history museum but more family friendly and just a bit more manageable and less busy like it's just really really cool Gracie's loving it so far because he can just point at all the animals and stuff and it's just really beautiful like there's so much cool stuff here I love that horny epidermis <laughs> how cool this is, massive elephant, like, heads. And I've been thinking about what they said they'd seen And I've been thinking about the war over the sea And I was thinking about the money 
I have saved up And I've been thinking how I keep working But the numbers don't add up And I've been thinking how seeing you every evening ain't enough And I was thinking how we work too hard But I am so in love And I was thinking how I'm thankful every single day And I was thinking how we plan to move away And I was thinking about birthdays And how that I hate that my parents are getting old And I was thinking that I miss my brother and my sister And how the wind is getting cold And I was thinking about October And the autumnal equinox And I was thinking about the parade And that time my dog killed a fox And I was thinking what if I am doing enough And I was thinking how we work all the time But then we're too tired to talk And I was thinking what if everything we're doing is wrong And I was thinking what if I never write a decent song And I was thinking about my grandma sitting at home And I was worried that I'd worry her if I called her on the home phone And I was thinking about her kicking at the end of her bed And I was thinking about her worried she'd fall on her bruised legs And I was thinking how we know when it's the end of the week And I was thinking how I don't have a single day coming up when I'm free So sleep in late with you and watch TV And I was worried that you think me impatient I hope that you know that you can talk to me Hope you liked your silky montage. We're off home now. Grace is falling asleep. The one good thing about living in London is that every now and again you find a hidden gem. You're like, should we just try this place out? Yeah, and, and then it ends like, up being oh, somewhere really cool. It, turn it, it turns into one of your favourite places. <laughs> Buddy. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Okay, keep going. There's five little creepy men to find in this week's vlog, and the first person who finds them all and puts the time codes down there. I didn't realise how creepy that man was before he. When I saw I him, I was like, back. I can't just have him as one shot. I have to make him into a meme on this on this uh, on this vlog. It took me a lot longer than it should have, to be honest with you. I spent a lot of time doing lots of um, motion tracking and stuff. I was like, I'm doing it, thinking, what the hell am I doing? But yeah, What I is know. my life? I know. <laughs> but I hope some of you appreciated it anyway. I was naughty and didn't do a blog post this week just because I didn't really feel like there was anything I wanted to write about this week. And I don't like blogging for the sake of it, so I didn't do one. I tried to think of something, but there's just nothing that I'm really loving right now, or nothing that I really wanted to talk about. I think it's because I'm a little bit hormonal this week, to be honest. <laughs> if you could all do me a massive, great big favor, and instead of reading Hannah's blog this week- Go to OneFeed. Go to OneFeed, ah, or download the iPhone app. And to all you asking, yes, we are building the, the Android one, so that'll be out soon. And also, I want a lot of stuff, so go and look at my want feed. <laughs> all the relevant links and all the things that featured in this week's vlog are down below. And yeah, thank you so much for Thanks spending for your Sunday with the Metroacs. We will see you all next Sunday. See you next
see you next Sunday. Oh, by the way, I read today that you know why hipsters, which apparently some people call me a hipster, um, why hipsters grow beards is because it's to like, they see other men as threat, threats, so they grow beards to become more threatening to other men. What, to make your face bigger? Yeah, like That's to look so like weird. That's and so stuff. That's so primal. Isn't it primal? Oh, you little primal beast. Yeah, I think I'm really primal. <laughs> Oh, that makes cool. sense. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Bye. We love you. Bye. Should shave on your chives before we go. Everyone's seen my chives. I'm about to repot my chives. <laughs> Why do you think that's so funny that I need to repot my chives? We use them every You're morning. You're so into your chives. Well, that's the only thing I can keep alive apart from Grayson and Widgie. Keep your hatred for me pretty alive. Only when I have to do your washing. <laughs> you never do my washing. Only because I quit recently. Recently? Ages ago. That's why you've got no pants. I have pants. to wash my own clothes like some savage. That's why you've got no pants. <laughs>